Thank you for tuning in to Terry Sue Videos. Make sure to turn on that notification bell for future videos. On today's video, I'm going to do a Where They Now on the lead singer of CNC Music Factory. During the 1990s, CNC Music Factory was one of the biggest groups in America. They had four number one hit songs during the early 1990s. And the members of the group were Freedom Williams, Zilma Davis, Robert Clavides, and David Cole. David Cole started the group and he wrote most of the songs and he produced most of the songs. He later on died of cancer and he was very respected in the music industry. He hired Zelma Davis to join the group in 1990. At the time, Zelma Davis was only 19 years old. Very beautiful woman and she had a good voice. She didn't have the best singing voice, but she had a decent singing voice. So she goes in to record the lyrics to Everybody Dance Now. But they tell her that Martha Wash sung an earlier version, and her version is better. So they tell her to do the lip sing to the song when they record the video. And Martha Wash doesn't know this. Martha Wash has no idea that they had somebody else lip singing her voice. During the 90s, the music industry was very image driven. Everybody wanted Martha Wash's voice. She had an amazing, strong voice, but nobody wanted her image because she was very overweight and they didn't think she was marketable. So what the music industry would often do is use her voice, sell it to the public, but use somebody else's image to sell the music. And a lot of hit songs were produced from Martha Wash's voice. And she ended up suing the music industry over this. I went in there to do it as a demo. You laid down the track. Exactly. And they realized that your voice was better than anybody else they could come up with. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Now, I, <laughs> I have to ask you this. Is it true that your riff on Everybody Dance Now was... Uh, lip sync by a female model, which I think it was. Okay, for for uh, everybody dance now, that was lip synced by Zelma Davis. Okay. Whether she was a model or not, I don't know. Could she know. sing? Yes, yeah, Zelma can sing. Well, why didn't they use her voice? That I don't know. Is it also true that they ex that you felt they excluded you as most felt because of your size? I didn't know that the whole thing was going on until I saw the video on TV. I, I didn't know That's... anything had happened You're kidding as far as me. The no the video I saw the video for the first time and knew about the video when I saw it on TV in my hotel room <laughs> as I was getting ready to do a show somewhere and how did you feel I just stood there with my mouth hung open I said I don't believe this and uh, called my manager uh, he was in another room and told him what I saw right and uh, they uh, he called their management and you know, like, what's going on? Why are you doing this? You know, and it went back and forth for a while. And we said, you can't do this because right, something's wrong. People, here. people know my voice um, because I've been around for a while <laughs> by that time anyway. Yeah. So we we had to take some legal action about that. Martha ended up suing CNC Music Factory over the whole lip singing controversy and it settled out of court. And she ended up working with CNC Music Factory later on with their second album. And they even went on tour together. So there's no bad blood between her and CNC Music Factory. And there's also no bad blood between her and Zelma. And she even acknowledges that Zelma can sing. Zelma has a good singing voice. It's not on the same level as a Martha Wash, but Zelma does have a good singing voice. And I'm going to show some songs from her towards the end of this video to show that she can actually sing. So I think they chose Martha Wash because her voice fits the song better. Everybody Dance Now required a much stronger voice than what she has. But if you listen to songs like Things That Make You Go Mmm, Zilma sings this with her real voice. She also sings A Touch of Love with her real voice. So there's numerous hit songs that she sung with her real voice. And they had a lot of success with their first album. Their first album sold 5 million copies.
They had four number one singles. But what happened was when they went into the studio to record their second album, Freedom Williams, the lead rapper, refused to record the album because they weren't paying him enough money. He wanted more money and they weren't willing to pay him more money. So he, he ended up leaving the group and going solo. So they released the album without him in 1993. And their second album was a flop. It didn't even make the top 20 on the charts. So it didn't sell hardly anything. And that's what made the group break up towards the late 1990s. They couldn't match the success they had with their first album without Freedom Williams. During the early 2000s, Zelma Davis went solo. She recorded several songs during the early 2000s. She never had any mainstream success as a solo artist. I think she got a bad rap from the whole lip singing controversy and a lot of people didn't give her a chance, even though she has a good singing voice. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. Today, Zelma Davis is 51 years old, and as you can see, she still looks lovely. She's married with two beautiful daughters. She's married with two beautiful daughters, and her daughter is a successful actress. So I'm happy to see that she's still doing good. I hope she gets back in the music industry. I don't think a lot of people gave her a chance, and I think she could have a successful music career if people just gave her a chance, because she has a great voice, she's a beautiful woman, there's no reason why she shouldn't be able to make it as a solo artist. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe.